everybody, how's it going? First of all, I want to thank you for watching the video, for clicking, and for really taking an interest in something that I am just so passionate about. I think we have this disconnect in the modern world where we think that our physical health depends on our diet, on exercise, on sleep, and while those factors are very important, what we tend to forget about is the emotional and relational reality. That is to say, the quality of our interpersonal relationships, social support, and bonds. These factors profoundly influence the way that we come to self-regulate our basically stress. And stress has all sorts of impacts on our immune system. So with that being said, the ultimate form I think of therapeutic management of stress is relational intimacy, safety, trust, and bonding. So I want to bring this to you. I want you to believe that this matters and that it matters enough for you to do something about it, to change your life, to practice the skill of learning how to relate through action, through behaving, through changing your life. So while we can talk about eating and diet and exercise in other videos, in this video we're going to talk about relationships. So what makes someone good at relationships? Well, people who are good at relationships are trustworthy, but what does being trustworthy look like? In this video, I'm gonna highlight John Gottman's approach, which looks at attunement as the source for uh, good relationships. Attunement is the process of A, attending. That means giving a person full undivided attention. That means putting down the phone. That means turning off the television being aware of when people are throwing bids for attention. So you attend, full attention. Are you paying attention to me? Pay attention, full attention, and then you turn towards using your body. Physical proximity builds trust, it builds liking. Your physical body matters. So turn towards the person physically, and then eye contact, facial contact. We need to look into each other's eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul, to the limbic system of the brain. What we see is an emotional reality, and we should respect it as so. So we attend fully, undivided attention. We turn towards, and then we seek to understand the other person. Understanding is a process of open-ended questions. Ask open-ended questions. How do we do this? We become genuinely interested in the other person. We have to be genuine for this to work. So we're attending, we're turning towards, we're being genuinely interested. We want to understand this person's perspective. And we have to do this by listening. So then we move on, we non-judgmentally listen. Okay, no judgment. Listen, we're listening. We're paying attention and we're listening. Okay, we're letting that happen. And then lastly, we empathize. What we do is we step into the other person's shoes. That means, and this is the hard part, that means we have to learn how to self-regulate. If they're stressed, we will take on that stress. If they're angry, we will feel that anxiety. We will feel the negative emotion. If they are despondent and sad, we will take it on. And this is what determines our character. Can we handle it? Can we take it on while maintaining non-reactive stability? Now this is it, you guys. We attune and we are healthier for it. If we attune in reciprocal relationships, we will be physically healthier emotionally happier and more fulfilled. My personal passion is to be engaged in this process through psychotherapy. And I 
hope I could do this one day. But I believe that if we have enough of this going on, particularly early on in life during critical periods of brain development, guys, the good life is right around the corner. It will manifest organically, and we will be living in a loving way. If you found this interesting or helpful, comment. If you like this content, hit the like button. And of course, I thank you. I appreciate you for your time and attention. But remember, none of this matters unless we choose to change the way that we attune, change our behaviors, to show up in the world, to be the men and the women that we are called to be. So work diligently, conscientiously to attune, and you will be receiving the good life. Let me know what you think. See you soon.